for a board of managers and that it would serve us well. Leshlow says the search for a superintendent will begin this week. The decision to appoint the board of managers and superintendent will be made in October. Reporting for NBC 23, I'm Joe DeLeon. Joe, thank you. Well, if you're a fan of golf, are you? Oh, yeah. Are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm down for learning anything new. All right. Well, this next information and event is for you, especially because it benefits our local students. And I'm definitely down for that. Danielle's got all the <laughs> info we need to know to join in on this fun. And I hear it's going to be uh, really convenient because we're not going to mm -hmm. have to deal with the heat so much for this event. That's all right. I'm going to tell you all about that. And you're, you may have to give me some tips. I'm not very good. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not either, but I'm, uh, I'm okay. I mean, he said <laughs> she, he asked if we liked it, not if we're good. Yeah. I like the way you think, yeah. Daisy. Yeah. <laughs> and I like the way organizers for this event think because this is under the stars. This is a golf match under the lights event. It's indeed all for the benefit of our Rio Grande Valley students, like you mentioned, for this upcoming back to school season. It's an in-person event that's anticipated to be really exciting and anyone from the 956 can head on out there to take part. Now, the great thing here is that the entire thing is going to take place in the night time. So it's golfing fun again under the stars for the whole family. All you have to do is bring your golf clubs. You can light them up if you want and a happy attitude, of course, for the game and you just might even win some really cool prizes that you get to take home. Now, it's going to take our community support to bring awareness and funds, of course, for resources to our local cross disability community in the education sector. And you know what? Organizers say that every single penny is going to be donated to benefit those students living and working toward their academic careers right here in the RGV. And this is an inaugural event, so it's a great thing to know that their team does it bigger and better every single year, you know, just making it super fun for all attendees. Now, a lot of hands did come together to make this possible, and it's all being presented by our friends over at Driving for Success, Driving Quest, who, do, who does year-round work, really, for all of our local students. So if you're ready for, you know, a little friendly competition or you're just looking to maybe learn the game you never played, it's okay, you can definitely check this out. Again, it's for anyone and everyone. So mark your calendar for this Friday, that's August August the 4th and there'll be a shotgun start at exactly 830 in the evening. So that'll kick off the under the lights golf fun. So you can visit eventbrite.com for all the information on this and we definitely hope you have a blast experiencing it all. Um, guys, I really, really love the idea that this is at nighttime. I hope you have glow sticks or mm -hmm. I don't know, glow in the dark things. If not, wave your phones around. You could decorate your golf clubs. This is so unique. Yeah, it's it definitely is. Sounds like it for sure. So you said it's family. Uh, mm -hmm. It's fun for the whole family, you said. Oh. oh. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you did that intentionally, but that's what I thought when you said that. Uh, yeah, I did it intentionally. Mm -hmm. yeah. I knew you did. I knew well, the whole did. under the stars, like under the lights, mm -hmm. like in the evening thing, that's really like unique. That's the kicker mm -hmm. there because, you know, it's so that different. Kick oh, wait, that's soccer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to put put your skills to the test. Okay. No, wait, that's, uh, that's yeah. not really golf. I mean, it? sort of, yeah. Like yeah. I don't know. You guys talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were. What I liked about that too is you said it was for people that maybe just want to learn. Yeah. You know, it's still it's not that really mm -hmm. difficult competition. It's still yeah. a good time. I mean, unless you play with us, right, Chris? We get a little competitive. Right. True. <laughs> you know, whether it's a shooting star or a shooting golf ball, oh, I have to say really? it, it sounds like a fun event. I'm trying to bring you in, and you leave me out. <laughs> Wait, and I, remind me again, because okay, Adam, in case you didn't know, or you maybe did not know, but. Chris uh, has talked about his various experiences that he, you know, his dad used <laughs> to enroll him in so many things, and I can't.